See what I'm guessing. He knew a Beauty and the Beast prequel that is set to um, include the likes that is set to be a prequel of Gaston and LeFou. Uh, it doesn't really have an actual title or anything like that. Uh, but the series is set to start the likes of Luke Evans coming back as uh, Gaston with uh, Josh Gad coming in, coming back as LeFou as as a uh, newcomer, Brianna Milton. Well, they have added a new addition, and someone who already been in the Disney Plus Eye is a part of that. Uh, that Hawkeye actor, uh, yeah, Hawkeye actor, uh, Free, Free of Fee, has joined the cast of the upcoming Beauty and the Beast uh, prequel series, which is a limited, um, an eight episode limited musical series. And a prequel to the 2017 live-action film um, that was developed and written by uh, Josh Gad and Once Upon a Time creators Edward Kisses and uh, Adam Horowitz. Here's what this is supposed to be about. Uh, set in the iconic kingdom of Beauty and the Beast years before the Beast and Belle's epic romance, the series f will follow uh, Gaston, played by Evans, and LeFou, played by Gad, uh, as they set off with LeFou's uh, stepsister Tilly, played by Milton, after surprising revelation from her past comes to light, sending the unlikely uh, trio off on an unexpected journey filled with romance, uh, comedy, and adventure. While uh, the mysteries of the past are uncovered and dangers of the uh, present grow, old, uh, old friends and new enemies Reveal that um that this familiar kingdom harbors many uh secrets. Uh, Fee will play Prince Spano Burles, a childhood friend of Tilly who has grown into a handsome, charismatic, confident prince. Of course, Fee did play the role of Kazi. Cannot really pronounce this character's name, but he played the character of Kazi Kazmarusazik in uh, Disney Plus's A uh, Hawkeye, and his other um credits includes uh the live action Cinderella film. Uh, Les Miserables, Pixies, and Animals. I thought he was really good on Hawkeye. So, and who knows if uh, Hawkeye's going to get a second season, so who knows if we're ever going to see this actor return for this series. I mean, I really look forward to checking this one out. I mean, one of the best part, even people who is not a fan of the, uh, of the film will tell you that one of the, one of the best parts about that uh, Beauty and the Beast live-action film from 2017 was the chemistry between Luke Evans, Gaston, and uh, Josh Gaslefu. Those two play off each other well. I know there's lots of some people who are hating the ideas that, you know, they're kind of gay for each other and everything. But, hey. We're in the golden age now, so live with it, right? Uh, so, I don't know. I'm hoping this is good. That's that train. I did quite like the 2017 film. This one, like, this is a prequel, so I'm pretty sure we're not going to see Emma Watson coming in. We're not going to see Dan Stevens popping up or anything. I don't know. Maybe we'll see, like, a younger version of Belle. Who knows? Uh, so we'll have to wait and see how this thing shapes up. Uh, anyway, let me let you guys. What are your thoughts on, um, uh, what's his name again? Why do I always keep free stuff on this guy's name? What are your thoughts on Hawkeye actor Free of Fee joining the upcoming Beauty and the Beast prequel series? Do you like the new edition? Um, were you even a fan of him on Hawkeye? And does it make you, and does, does this even make you more interested in the Beauty and the Beast prequel series? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu signing off.